today the deck finds us live at the Lido Theatre down here in Hawthorne where we're checking out the second screening of Friends, Foes and Fireworks, the latest from Nexus Productions. And we'll be catching up with Ivan and Sarah just shortly as they come out and uh, engage in the reaction of some of the punters. Alrighty, welcome to the deck. Thank you so much for joining us. What can you tell us about Friends, Foes and Fireworks? Uh, Friends, Foes and Fireworks is a completely improvised film shot in a single night on New Year's Eve. So that's our marketing gimmick right there. Uh, we made it 16, 17, so starting in 2016, and then it ticked over to midnight, and suddenly it's 2017. Uh, we had a premiere last week at the Classic Cinemas, and now we're here for the second screening at the Lido. Fantastic. And what, what was the, the, the motivation for, for bringing this, this film to life? Um, we haven't really been very big on New Year, so we want to do something that we like. We always find New Year very overrated and sometimes very expensive and we get really bored. So we thought we wanted to do what we really love on New Year's and that was shoot a film. So we decided to do that. Okay, and you said you shot it in one night. Mm -hmm. What about the planning and preparation time? Probably took two to three months to plan it out. Uh, we had an outline of each scene, what we, the points that we wanted to hit with our actors. We had a long rehearsal process, just a lot of discussion about the characters and about the story. We actually recreated scenes from the past, so like, you know, we'll take our characters and there's like, say, a birthday dinner that they went through, we'll actually film that birthday dinner. So they have a history, a shared history to draw upon when it actually comes time to shoot the film. Okay, very good. And how did you go about actually selecting uh, the characters? As you said, it was a, an ad lib. Um, was there much of a screening process? Or? Um, we wanted to work with people that we already knew, people we've worked with in the past, either directly or on other projects. So we thought we'd um, just choose people that we knew or actors that we knew locally from our experience. We've both been in the industry for about 10 years each, so we know a lot of actors and we've been part of the Melbourne scene for a while. So we selected them like that. We knew that we'd have to go for people who have a theatre background because they can think on their feet. So that's how we sort of approached it for casting. Fantastic. Okay, and uh, I'm familiar with a, a couple of your other films. So uh, you've got one uh, going at the moment, Choir Girl. Choir Girl, yep, that was sh um, shot and completed last year. It is just finished post-production. Uh, we have a sales agent for the film. We're actually heading to Cannes with that sales agent to try to pick up some worldwide sales. True. And we're also looking for a distributor in Australia to get the film out there. Great stuff. All right, so if you're a distributor, keep that in note. That's it. Alrighty. And what does the future hold for you? Have you got anything else in the pipeline that you're working on at the moment that you care to share? Um, Incorporate, which is we finished shooting around the end of January in Berlin. So it's shot in Melbourne, Berlin, Malta, and what's the one I missed? Melbourne, New York. And New York. Yeah, I missed New York. Mm, fantastic. So we shot that in four countries. It's about um, four different relationships around the world. So okay. that's in post. And, and the relationships are connected? Um, no, not really. The first two are sort of connected. The one starts and the other one ends like a bookend, but the two other ones are not. Yeah, it's, it's connected by theme, by love, theme, sex and betrayal. Yeah. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. very good. All right, and uh, you mentioned Malta. You guys have just recently moved from Melbourne to Malta. That, that, how, are you, how are you finding that? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's hot pretty much all year round, 300 days of the year. The sun's, the sun is shining, there's a good film industry there. It has the world's largest water tank, so a lot of production. Yep. Um, so yeah, we're really enjoying the Mediterranean lifestyle. <laughs> Terrific. All right, so we're going to go in and uh, let you go and, and enjoy your own film. Do you mind if we perhaps grab you on the way out and we'll have a chat to you about yeah, no what, what the audience perception was That'll and be great. Uh, see how you enjoyed that? Cool. All righty, fantastic. Thank you so Thank much. You. We'll see you again soon. Let's go. So what did we think, guys? Um, well, the guy who played Dan, mm -hmm. he really freaked me out. <laughs> okay. For a relatively unscripted, I thought it came across quite well. Okay, yep. yeah. What about yourself there, Tom? Yeah, that was good, very ambitious. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got a few questions to ask Ivan. Um, okay. Because it was shot in one night, but I was thinking, did they go through the whole night for that last scene where she rings her father up? Um, or was that shot on another day, or did they just keep going? Um, <laughs> Shooting earlier. Yeah, like, yeah, or did they shoot it on another day? Or and the sound was really good, so I, I want to know. Yeah, like it was so clean. clean. Yeah, and I think I have spotted some ADR in there, but yeah, I don't know. Like some of the so I was trying to see where the lapels were. Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a filmmaker's. Yeah, I was going to say yeah. that, that, that's an industry thing, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. A, a, as a concept of the film, 
and you, you obviously know the background and the, the way it was done. What, what, what did you think overall? Well, it's a different way of doing something. Yep. For uh, how long was it? Like 40, 45, 50 minutes, was it? No. Plant wise? Uh, how long did it go for? An hour? An hour? It's well, you, you, you've been in there an hour and 45. Oh, wow. Really? really? That long? Yep. It's, yeah. it's quarter to six now. Well, that's a hell of a way to get uh, an hour 45 of content in one yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> So yeah, very ambitious, well done. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, good effort, yeah. So is it something you'd like to take on yourselves? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm wondering who came up with the original concept. And I thought, you know, you, you had the girls there with one guy. That sort of, uh, I couldn't figure out exactly how, where he was going to be um, placed in that, that environment, right? Right. It was a bit disturbing to, to start with. Okay. Well, right, you know, like... Why is he in there, right? Right. Um, anyway. But you worked it out in the end? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> and might I say, does it matter? <laughs> well, no, I guess not. Rick? Yes. Welcome to the deck. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too, buddy. So, you just been in to see uh, Friends Foes Fireworks? Yep. One word. Twisted. Twisted? Uh, what I mean by twisted is in the way the storyline sort of pans out. Yep. Um, to seeing that it's a story about four women. Yep. And basically it was five women. And basically what happens is everything sort of just happens on New Year's Eve. Right. And then it just breaks out. There's like this climatic point where the whole movie just bang. Yep. And then it's sort of just like the aftermath of what happens afterwards at the end as well. So, did you enjoy it? Yes, it was. <laughs> I really felt sorry for the male character in the movie. Yep. Because the poor guy gets introduced into this group of women and... Poor guys just like straight away they're like, yeah, they're just like jumping on him. Um, you know, but like I mean, yeah, negative way, not positive way. But like it sort of all worked out in the end in some respects as well. So, yeah. And were there aspects of the film that you yourself could actually relate to? Yeah, I could actually. The poor bloke who was in that in that whole scene. You know, okay. I sometimes feel like that. I'm like, oh, I feel a bit awkward. It's like, hi, how you going? Like, yeah, I can't do that. So, <laughs> it's a bit like that. But yeah, no. All right, and, and those sorts of things with the. the um feature films and short films and things like that. Are they something that you sort of attend? Yeah, something I attend. I'm actually a filmmaker myself. I'm okay. too. So, so I mean, I love to see what's going on. In the so you could well. sort of pick things that you would possibly do differently? Or oh, yeah, go, look, I, I mean, know how they did that. And yeah, look, it's always interesting to see how other directors and crew work and their perspectives on how movie production work as well. Yep. So I'm always fascinated by that and always sort of take that in as a positive thing as well. So Terrific. Yeah. Beautiful. And do you attend short film festivals? I try to. I yeah. try to get there as much as I can. But, you know, it's just one of those things. If I'm not making my own things, I'm always on other productions as well. And Beautiful. I'm always out there and out and about in the Melbourne scene. So yeah. yeah, always helping someone out. Definitely. Terrific. Well, thanks very much for your time. No worries, time. mate. Thank you very Jeez. much. Pleasure. No worries. Right, we'll see you again. Great, thank you. No worries. Too easy. <laughs> what did you think? I love it. Yeah. I love the storyline. I wasn't expecting anything like that. Yeah. Very good. It's good. Very good. And your favourite bit? My favourite bit was um, was when everything. Um, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're pear shaped. We're pear shaped. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And what about yourself? What was uh, your favourite part? I loved it. Well, one of my favourite parts was seeing my one of my beautiful friends, Dan Hill, play okay. the part, the male part, the English character. So once I got over him, <laughs> um, I just really loved the storyline, how it was just, you know, you think at the start it's just girls hanging out together. It's like, oh yeah. But then the escalation happened, yep. then the relationship with the two girls, and then the end. The end I did not expect at all. So. Yep. And look, I, I know I said this before, but have a look at you. You're all yeah, worked uh, up. You're, that's just me. It, it, made, it made an impression. <laughs> it made an impression. Yeah. So it's something you can relate to. Yeah, well, with not the lesbian scene, but, but yeah, girls. Hey, that's not for me to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just girl drama. Okay. And, and you can relate to aspects of the, of the film as well? Oh, yeah, definitely. Obviously, not, not all life, of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just life, you know. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's so it's. Just, a, so you like those sorts of films more that, that sort of reflect life yes, rather and, than... And let me just tell you, for please. a male, do not ever introduce a male boyfriend or companion without telling the group of girls first. That's a big no-no at a party. You have to tell your friends you've got a boy that you're bringing along. That's why the girls were so hostile. So I'll remember that next time I go to a girls' party. <laughs> Don't ever do it. Okay. <laughs> Terrific. Right. Any other comments that you'd like to make about it? I, I just Anything thought it was fantastic. I'm really proud of um, <laughs> Melbourne, Melbourne <laughs> independent films. They rock. Yeah. yeah All right. Independent films. Terrific. Yeah. Thanks for your time, guys. Thank you.
Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, we will find out as the night goes on. I get more drunk. I have <laughs> no job and no money and no apartment. It's you who I feel sorry for. I feel like you girls should actually just give up and start dating women. Hello. Oh my god. Are you? I wasn't coming back here permanently. Is that is that what you thought that I was coming back here permanently? So is he like your boyfriend or? I probably wouldn't use the boyfriend term. Yep. We began by the sea, the light of the full moon. Punch me. No, 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 no. I, I felt like punching myself. Punch She's my friend. And Special guest here. Welcome to the deck. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure being here. How are the bruises? Oh yeah, from the battering I got. Oh, that's from the it. Women. That's yeah. it. <laughs> very how, interesting. How did you get roped up into this? Well, um, I've known Ivan uh, for a few years, yep. and uh, he sort of approached me because he knew I had background in improvisation. Okay. And um, and I met Sarah, his girlfriend, for the first time, um, and it was really nice sort of chatting to him about the role and yeah, how I was going to play it and how it was going to pan out in the night and. Yeah. So, so, so you actually had quite a bit of input? Uh, yeah, we all had uh, quite a bit of input into our characterisation and yep. the way... Um, the good thing was uh, I hadn't actually met any of the cast before the film because okay. I was that wild card. Yep. So uh, it was actually quite a challenging thing for me to do because usually, obviously, I meet the other actors before yep. a shoot. Yep. And like I've asked everybody else, uh, you being in the film, yep. the aspects of real life that you can actually relate to in ah. the film. <laughs> Well, I've never been in a situation where I've been <laughs> hammered like so. Like, it, was, it was very uh, interesting being in, in a situation like that and still keeping that happy-go-lucky sort of yep. just here to have fun, it's New Year's, or just what a sort of vibe. But uh, really, at the end of the day, it was just more of a deflection of all the hostility and just taking all the positivity that I could. Okay, and was that the first uh, sort of ad lib? Uh, no, because I've... I've had history with doing my own web series and improvisation. I was right. sort of used to it. I actually love improvisation. Yep. It's a very natural style of acting and, yes. and sort of it forces you to listen to the other performances yep. and stuff and yep. react. Instead not not contrived responses. Yeah, that's and right. Like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Terrific. All right. Well, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you around again. Yeah, all all yeah, the best for the future. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure. Good luck yeah. with the film. Thank well you done. very much. All Appreciate right. it. Cheers. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to muscle, we're gonna muscle in here. <laughs> How did it go? Um, good, I think. Smaller screening than the premiere, obviously, but yeah. good intimate um, crowd. Yeah. yeah, and you had some feedback already from, from the viewers? Um, just a couple of people. I just spoke to some people now saying it was good. Good. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm are, are you happy with the way that it went? I'm happy with the film, yes. Good, good. <laughs> Most of it, yeah. Now, in, in terms of this film, and also, you know, you've got some other projects and things on, on the go as mm -hmm. well. This one was obviously filmed in Melbourne. Yes. How do you go? How do you find filmmaking in Melbourne in general? Um, we moved to Europe to expand our horizons and just to film overseas and to see what it's like in other countries. Right. We found it a bit limiting in Australia in terms of funding and the corporate bodies to get funding. So we thought we'll just go outside and see what else we could do okay. outside. And we wanted to film in different countries as well. So Understandable. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sort of vaguely familiar with the, the funding issue and the, the, the whole fight that Queensland have had with the, what was it, the Dora of the Explorer. Thing. So you, you've come up against that, that funding issue yourselves? Ivan knows more about it because he produces a lot of work more than I do. But yeah, just getting funding for it, we found that we had to like work with our own money and just make money ourselves to make our films. Yeah, okay. Which is challenging when we want to make feature films. Yes, yes. Money yeah. can be very, very hard to come by at the best of times, especially uh, yeah. Yeah, asking ourselves. other people for it. Yeah. <laughs> Asking and begging, like with daughter, I had to do like three different fundraising platforms just to raise seventeen thousand, and put my right? own money in as well. So it's only a short film. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, All we right. found that a bit difficult. Also, just yeah. All right. Well, look, congratulations. Thank you. On the film, fantastic effort, and uh, look, hopefully you won't disappear to Malta for too long. We'll see you back. Um, we're looking to stay in Europe. We're looking at moving to Berlin after this. But you, you surely you'll be coming back to Melbourne to, at some stage. To visit. Okay. To visit. All right. And, for now, yes. And with the other films, you're going to be premiering those in Melbourne as well? No idea. It's still in post-production. Um, okay. Incorporate anyway. Ivan's got plans for um, Choir Girl, which is separate. That's not my, not really my business. He's producing it. Okay. But, well, I'll yeah. tell you what. When the films hit Melbourne, and obviously you're going to come back, yeah. will you come and pay us another visit? Yes, sure. Beautiful. Thank <laughs> you. That sounds like a date. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic.